Da 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 da. Sales. All right, if you have not guessed by now, the episode today is gonna to be all about sales. So right now I got the sales up. Man, it looks so good when I get the sales up. It looks like a sailboat when I get the sails up. It's probably why they call them sailboats. Um, so anyways, we're just looking these sails over. We're gonna determine what kind of condition they're in. If they're um, usable, if they're fixable, um, if they are fixable, we're going to try to fix them. And if we can get these fixed, then that means we can actually go sailing very, very soon. So let's uh, hurry up and get this done. All right, so this is the uh, main sail here. And actually, this sail seems to be in really good condition, actually. I mean, obviously it's not new. I'm sure people will say it's baggy or I don't even know what the hell that means, but um, there's not a lot of damage. So I can, I can attest to that much. There's this right there that's already been repaired. Um, and then the only other damaged spot is way up at the top, there's a missing... Um, having a brain fart uh, grommet there's a missing grommet up there so I've got some new grommets to replace that with there's also we're also missing a slug on the very top one so as far as repairs go that's really the only thing that needs to be repaired you can actually see right there there's a missing grommet and it looks like he just stitched it to repair it but we'll throw another grommet in there and I actually got half inch grommets which are bigger than these these look like quarter inch grommets so we'll see how that works. Um, 
And the only other thing with the mainsail is it's missing a batten, so he's got to order some new battens. And mainsail should be good to go, so yeah. Pretty pumped about that. Don't need to buy a new mainsail right now. Jib, on the other hand, is... And I'm watching my language. Fudged. The jib is pretty fudged. Um, you can see big old rips here. Um, it looks like the previous owner is having issues with this already on the leech. He's got tape on the leech in a bunch of different spots. And it's just really weak. I mean, I've only got one hand now because I'm holding the camera. But if you pulled on this with two uh, hands, you can... Um, you can rip this seam pretty easy. So I would like to try to repair that by just running tape the whole leech and then even on some of these really bad spots um, stitching it a little bit. Um, other than that though, there's no rips or tears in the main part of the sail. It's just right on that, that leech edge, right in the seam where the uh, leech rope here gets sewn in. Those stitches created a real weak spot. Um, but yeah, I'll start taking these sails down and you can get a, a better look at it. Some of those areas I, I was describing. So um, yeah, we have them up just to kind of show you them up. Now let's take them down and on the way down, I'll start pointing out some of these really bad damage spots. Actually, a couple quick questions for you guys. Number one, the foot of the sail doesn't seem to pull taut enough. No matter how hard I pull in on the, uh, the sheets, the, the foot just kind of like folds under right here. Um, is that something normal or should I get that adjusted? Will that kind of like fill out with the wind? I don't know. It seems like this should be tighter somehow um, what do you guys think now the other big question I had was the uh, previous owner had this rig I'm assuming for single-handed reefing and I'm not sure that I have this rigged right so maybe you guys can help me out and let me know what I'm doing wrong um, so the way I have the line running is I have it you know to a, a solid point on the mast I mean this could actually be on the cleat but it's on this eyelet right now it goes up into one eye comes out that eye down to the boom to a block runs along the side of the mast to another block up to the other reefing eye and down to this block and then cleats off here so is that hooked up right and then you would just kind of tie the sail up a little bit with the other two eyes or should this line be running through all of these eyes um so yeah let me know is this is this rigged right or not um i dug around the internet couldn't find anything and really how to rig a single hand reefing system but this is the only way that made sense to me because then you could basically yank on this and be kind of down hauling over there and get some tension there and then just tie it off here but i could be completely wrong please let me know in the comments below So as we pull this down you can see the different places where he's already got it taped up so it looks like this um, seam has been an issue all along and this whole thing is like I said just very very weak you can I mean it's starting to rip up see what I mean just very little effort and the thing rips um, so I mean I hope that's not too far gone and I can just throw some tape on there and it'll get me crap even just a couple times out just to test the boat out um i don't even need a whole season out of it and i'll i'll end up buying a new jib um it seems like it's good for the most part here but like i said it is real weak so i do kind of want to reinforce it 
and then you get up to here more rips more rips another one of his patches you know another big tear a little dirty here another tear and it just kind of remains weak throughout here until you get to some nice reinforced areas um, other than that though this sail is fine it's just that one seam I mean all your um, hanks and everything are all on there good all those grommets are all on there good but um it's definitely in the of the two it's the one that's in the worst shape one thing I always forget to do is to um, tighten up this uh, topping lift before I drop the sail and the boom always ends up falling on me And obviously this is, you know, a fucking spider. Oh, spider. Obviously this is the biggest issue with this sail because A, there's no grommet, B, there's no slug, and that needs to be like that. So, yeah, main sail should be easy enough to fix.
by the way, I'm using this stuff. Kimco RB awning repair tape. Um, should work pretty good. It actually says on here, blah, 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 blah. Aggressive adhesive resists tearing in any direction. Repairs rips and punctures in RV awnings. Boat sails. Hey, that's what we're doing. Canvas, tents, rainwear. Rudely interrupted by his kid. Does he not understand I'm making a YouTube video? A gingerbread man right here was bitten. That's what the zombies look like. Trying to repair some sails. But I'm pretty sure it's a mama one or um a daddy. I'm not really sure. He's not really sure. The other thing I'm doing is I'm using this liquid invisible stitch um, to just go over the edges of the tape um, just so just to kind of maybe help it from peeling up on the edges it'll kind of make a uh, I don't know like a covering so the edges aren't as prone to peeling as they might be otherwise. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, but it doesn't hurt to try. Alright guys, got the sails up. It's actually been um, a couple days since I finished that uh, last set of clips. And uh, the main sail looks absolutely perfect. Like, I, don't think, I don't think I'm going to have any issues with this main sail whatsoever. And I think it's still got lots of life left in it. Um, the jib, however, I want to come take a look at that. Um, so, especially from hearing from you guys, you know, these videos tend to be pretty helpful when I screw up. Or even if I just try something that doesn't work. So, um, I do want to make you aware of this tape that I used. Um, when I first put it on, I thought this stuff was going to rock. I mean, it is really solid, it is really tough. Um, it says for sale repair right on the freaking package. When you um, search on Amazon for sale repair tape, it shows up. Um, so I gave it a whirl. And I don't think it's the best tape, to be honest with you. Um, it, well, let me just show you. I'm gonna flip the camera around. All right, can you see? Look at it. There's like condensation in this tape. Water is like sucked in just from it being damp outside, like through the sail and got underneath the tape. And now there's all sorts of condensation underneath it. Um, I mean, it's still on there pretty good, but there are parts where it, there is a bit of like a lip. And the other thing is that uh, liquid stitch didn't do crap especially on the places where it meets the tape you can actually uh, I can't find a good spot oh here you go you can see it kind of flaking off that's the liquid stitch right there um so yeah liquid stitch yeah here you go you can see right here liquid stitch does not adhere to the tape 
at all. It adhered to the fabric of the sail just fine, but not to the tape part. So you can't really overlap from the fabric onto the tape to kind of like prevent it like I had anticipated, prevent it from um, peeling up on the edges. So that idea is out the window, so don't try that at home. Um, I do think it would work if... All right, here's a patch from the previous owner. Kind of hard to see. But his tape was more like a fabric. And I, for the life of me, could not find that kind of tape. At least on Amazon. Um, again, I could not find uh, that kind of tape, that fabric-y kind of tape, on Amazon for the life of me. Um, maybe it's on West Marine's website. Um, so, guys, if um, you want to help out other people, please, in the comments below, let them know what the best uh, sail repair tape is and maybe provide a link to it. Because um, I... Well, I'm really not sure uh, what's in store for this jib sail. Uh, I think it is repaired enough to get me out there for the first time and test it out. Uh, I'm not sure how many sails I'll get after that. Um, but probably in the future I want to replace it and probably in the future I want to replace it with uh, roller furling even though they are kind of on the expensive side but I don't know I'd rather have a uh, like a 150 Genoa for you know light wind days I mean it doesn't get very windy in the lakes it's not like the ocean so a bigger jib would uh, certainly help in those instances and, and it would be easy enough to um, reef if it did get a little windy um, with one of those roller furlings. So I don't know. What do you guys think? The, uh, the roller furling worth the uh, extra expense? Or just get another hank on and see if I can find a used sale somewhere? Or I don't know. You tell me. That's what the comments section is for down there. And that's what makes these videos in this channel so pretty cool. Because I can get your input. Um, yeah. Did I mention I got new uh, tapered battens from the mainsail? That's pretty cool. That looks like that's going to whack me in the back of the head. Um, alright guys. So, I think these things are repaired enough to at least get out there and uh, test this bitch out. So I'm going to call this episode a wrap. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I think one episode left, and then the one after that. We're going to be sailing in water. La, 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 la. All right, guys. I'm wrapping this episode up. As always, thank you very, very much for all your support. Make sure you like this video. Like the page. Make sure you subscribe. Very important to subscribe. Because you were like, man, this video is really good. I would like to see all the other videos that come out. You gotta subscribe. More motorcycles ruining my YouTube video. What is going on, guys? Jeez. How's anyone supposed to vlog when they live on Route 112? Um. Patron? Check out Patron. Um, I'm trying to find. Uh, all right, I'm stirring this around, all right? Freestyle. I'm all about having the free boat. Why? Why am I asking people to pay for Patron? I feel like Patron should be free, and if you want to donate, you should be able to donate. But I can't find a way to make Patron free. It's at least a dollar a month. But um, I'm stirring around some ideas. I might make that like this the the main hub for us all to hang out and um, just make everything free on Patreon. And then if you want to donate, depending on what you donate, you get your name in the credits, and that'll be cool. But I'm working on it. More updates in the next episode. Hey, one more thing. While, while we're sitting here chatting. What, I really like how we interact and stuff through the comments and all that kind of stuff. And I think the, uh, the engagement part of this is, is super cool. And I want to like do more of that. This thing's going to whack me in the head. No, it's not. Because it's tight, pretty good. Um, so I'm thinking. From now on... Um, Leave some comments below. Ask me some questions if you want. 
And in the next episode, I will um, mention your comment and respond to your comment maybe in in the video. I thought maybe that would be a cool way to kind of engage with you guys other than just the little typey 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 responses that I always do. So yeah, please, you know, ask questions. It doesn't have to be about this video. It can be about anything. Um, but leave your comments below. Any question you want. I'll pick, pick a question, pick two questions or something. I don't know. Depending on my mood. Um... And I'll respond to it in the next video, maybe at the end of the video where I start talking and rambling on for, you know, worthless minutes the way I am now, just making this video longer than it needs to be. Anyways, you get the drift. Leave a comment. I'll pick some comments. I'll respond to the comments on the next video. That'll be cool, I think. Um, so did I get them all? Like, yep. Subscribe, yep. Oh, there's a notification thingy somewhere down here. If you turn on the bell, you got it? You got one of them cell phone devices? If you turn on that bell, you will get a notification whenever I upload a new video. So click the bell after you subscribe. And like, subscribe, bell, comments, patron. Goodbye.